The B reactor had three redundant safety systems to ensure it could be shut down in case of an emergency. In contrast, the first small reactor built in Chicago had only one means of control, which was rather simple, scram it. Basically, there was one guy who had the control rod. His job was basically, if the reaction got away, he was to chop the rope. The rope actually held a boron tip that would drop into that assembly that would poison it and then reduce it. So, Single Control Rod Axe Man. That is the acronym for SCRAM. But the techniques for controlling the powerful B reactor were far more sophisticated. Operating a full-scale reactor demanded that nothing be left to chance. If something unexpected happened during the early weeks or months of the operation, the operators needed to be able to shut it down quickly. The primary means of control were neutron-absorbing boron rods. When inserted into the core of the reactor, the rods absorbed the excess neutrons and stopped the chain reaction. The B reactor had 29 vertical safety rods poised above the reactor to back up the nine horizontal control rods. At the top of the reactor, we had the vertical safety rods, which was the prime one. The, the rods were drawn out of the reactor with electrical clutch up there. But if for some reason, vertical safety rods could not go fully into the reactor. They had boric acid up there that, in, that if the rods didn't get in, vertical rods didn't get in at a certain time, a valve would open and this solution would go into the vertical uh, channels. Now that, the bad thing about that was that if it went in there, it would probably poison the reactor so it never would be able to start again because you couldn't get that solution out. So quickly they went into another safety uh, system and that was boron balls and what they did then had a hopper uh, on top of the reactor next to each vertical rod and if something happened that the vertical rod could not go in then a valve would open and these balls would go in and fill up that channel. In short there were several ways to shut down the reactors safely. They would drop the verticals, they would push in the horizontals, they would dump the 3x balls if required and they would shut the K down on the reactor and it would go subcritical. Thus, there were three ways to make sure that no runaway reactions could occur, and they all ran very well. <laughs>